Let's make murto piyasa. Start with 1 pound of chicken. We're going to use boneless skinless chicken thighs that have been cut into bite-sized pieces. Then take 1 cup of chopped shallots finely and then half a cup of white onions that have been diced. Take a wide skillet and heat on medium high. Add 3 tablespoons of oil, then add 1 bay leaf, 1 star anise, 3 cloves and 4 cardamom pods. And then add your 1 cup of finely chopped shallots. Stir this around. Reduce your heat down to medium and cook for 2 minutes. Then add 1 tablespoon of water and braise the pan with the onions. Now add 1 teaspoon each of finely chopped ginger and finely chopped garlic. Stir this around for about 1 minute on medium heat. Then you're going to add about 5 tablespoons of water. and you're going to cook this mixture until the onions become soft this takes about 2 minutes then reduce your heat all the way down to low cover and cook for 5 minutes the base will become soft once the 5 minutes are up now add your spices make sure that you are on low heat 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric 2 teaspoons of cumin powder 1 teaspoon of garam masala 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and then you're going to add 2 teaspoons of chili powder and 1 teaspoon of paprika Take your spatula and stir these around. Toast the spices for about one minute until fragrant. Amazing. Now you're going to add about five tablespoons of water to this mixture, and you're going to do the braising technique again. This will make sure that the masalas and the flavors and the aromatics all combine. It takes about one minute to cook on low. Now add one cup of crushed tomatoes and stir this around to make the gravy base. You're still on low heat. Season with about half a teaspoon of salt and mix this around again. Now add your chicken pieces and coat the tomato onion mixture with the chicken pieces evenly. Increase your heat to medium and cook for about two minutes as you keep stirring to keep the chicken from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Now reduce your heat all the way down to low and add one third cup of plain yogurt to the middle of the chicken mixture. Take your spatula and start stirring. Now add one fourth cup of water to the yogurt directly and keep stirring this mixture until all the flavors and the colors combine. This also helps the yogurt from curdling. The vigorous stirring. Keep mixing this around and then add your half a cup of diced white onions. and submerge the onions in the curry sauce increase your heat to medium and let it start cooking it's going to heat for about 2 minutes then add 1/3 cup of water and mix everything around this will be the final step to cooking the chicken this takes about 1 minute for this to come to a nice bubble once the bubble is achieved reduce your heat to low and cook for 30 full minutes covered After 30 minutes, stir the things around to make sure nothing is stuck to the bottom and the chicken has cooked thoroughly. To add a little bit more flavor, I like to add 1 tablespoon of chopped cilantro stalks. There is a lot of flavor on the stalks of the cilantro leaf. You can add just the leaves too if you want to. Then 1 teaspoon of kasuri methi for flavor. Optional ingredient mix these around this is the almost finish to this beautiful dish keep stirring this around you're still on low heat increase your heat to medium and let this come to a full beautiful simmer keep stirring to achieve the texture that you desire if you like a thinner curry you can add a few tablespoons of water but there is enough moisture here to make sure that the curry is cooked evenly and that's pretty much it actually your murto piyaza is ready serve this with a bowl of steaming hot rice or with your favorite roti naan or kulcha i hope you enjoy this recipe this is a labor of love from cool desi aunty's kitchen all the lovely flavors the colors the combination and i have to say this was approved by my whole family so please enjoy have a lovely day ciao from cool desi aunty 
I'll see you soon. Bye.